This is the practice questions content based on the 2024 NRCME handbook presented by the DSG team. That's the DOT study guide team. The first section is questions only and features 65 practice questions with possible answers. There will be a brief pause between each possible answer to allow some time to process this information. Feel free to actually press pause on the media player if you want to take more time to process each question and answer set. The correct answer will not be disclosed during this first pass-through of the practice questions. The second section is the answer version and features the same 65 practice questions as well as mention of the correct answer and occasionally some relevant comments about the answer. Here we go! So question number one, who is ultimately responsible for deciding whether an individual meets the physical qualification standards? A. Motor carrier. B. Driver. C. Medical examiner. D. Treating provider. Number two, which department of the United States government oversees the FMCSA? A. Department of Transportation B. Department of Defense C. Department of Education or D. Department of Energy Number 3. What is the FMCSA responsible for regulating? A. Zoning Restrictions B. Sales Tax Remittance C. Professional Licensure or D. CMV Driver Safety. Number four. Which of these medical professionals is not eligible to be an FMCSA medical examiner? A. NP or Nurse Practitioner. B. Medical Assistant or MA. C. Medical Doctor or MD. Or D. Physician Assistant slash Associate PA. Number five, what are the two items that a medical examiner must maintain in order to stay eligible to perform DOT medical examinations? A. FMCSA Certificate and National Registry Listing B. Physical Fitness Certificate and National Registry Listing C. FMCSA Certificate and White Pages Listing or D good standing status and marketplace listing. Number six, which is not one of the criteria that defines a commercial motor vehicle? A, designed or used to transport nine to 15 people, including driver for compensation. B, transports hazardous materials in sufficient quantities to require hazard placarding. C, Weight slash rating greater than 5,000 pounds. Or D. Designed or used to transport 16 or more people regardless of compensation. Number 7. What is the maximum amount of time for which any individual can be certified? A. 21 months. B. 12 months. C. 36 months. Or D. 24 months. Number 8. Which physical qualification exam, PQE, form includes the driver's past medical history, PQE details, and qualification determination? A. The MEC, or the certificate. B. The DMER, or the results. C. The MER, or the report. D. The ITDMA, or the diabetes form. Or E. The VER, the vision form. Number 9. Which physical qualification exam form is used to provide proof of certification? A. The MER, or the report. B. DMER, or the results. C, the ITDMA, or the diabetes form. 
D, the VER, or the vision form. Or E, the MEC, or their certificate. Number 10, which PQE form is submitted to the FMCSA via their national registry account by local midnight the next calendar day after the PQE? A, the DMER or the results. B, the MER or the report. C, the MEC or the certificate. D, the ITDMA or the diabetes form or E, the VER, the vision form. Number 11, which PQE form is used for patients with insulin-treated diabetes? The MER, the ITDMA, the MEC, the DMER, or the VER. Again, that's A, the MER, B, the ITDMA, C, the MEC, D, the D -E -D -M -E -R, and E, the VER. Number 12, which PQE form is required for patients who are evaluated by an eye specialist? A, the MER, B, the MEC, C, the DMER, D, the VER, and E, the ITDMA. Number 13, which PQE form is optional? A, the MER, or the report. B, the MEC, or the certificate. C, the DMF, or the medications form. D, the DMER, or the results form. Or E, the ITDMA, diabetes form. Number 14, Within how many days after the completion of an ITDMA form, or VER form, must a PQE be performed? A. 90 days B. 45 days C. 54 days or D. 30 days Number 15. For what reason would a medical examiner be able to override the privacy rule? A. If the individual discusses their health status in a public setting. B. If the individual acts belligerently towards the ME. C. If there is a substantial violation. And, or D. If a police officer is on the premises. Number 16. Are medical examiners able to issue exemptions? A. No. B. Yes. Number 17. What is the term describing any person engaged in a business affecting interstate commerce who owns or leases a CMV in connection with that business or assigns employees to operate it? A. Motor carrier. B. Treating provider. C. Employer. Or D. Medical examiner. Number 18. What is the term that includes agents, officers, representatives, as well as employees responsible for hiring, supervising, training, assigning, or dispatching of drivers and employees concerned with installation, inspection, and maintenance of CMV equipment and or accessories? A. Employer. B. Treating provider. C. Medical examiner. Or D. Motor carrier. Number 19. What is the term describing a license issued to an individual by any state or other jurisdiction of domicile which authorizes the individual to operate a class of CMV? A. SDL. B. ODL. C. CDL. Or D. DDL. Number 20. Who is ultimately responsible for ensuring that a driver meets the general qualification requirements evidenced with a current MEC or certificate? A. Motor carrier. B. Driver. C. Medical examiner. Or D. Treating provider. Number 21. Which situation could be certified for more than 12 months? A. 
the AVS, or Alternative Vision Standard. B. Asthma. Thanks for checking out this preview sample of our product content. Make your purchase today and enjoy immediate access to the complete content. Go to our website at www.dotstudyguide.com and purchase your access today. That's www.dotstudyguide.com. Your purchase of this and our other educational media products allows us to keep producing and improving the content we provide.